Hey y'all, my name is Jennifer, you can call me Jen. Today's video has the brand new Shantikai 2022 Spring Collection. I'm so excited. So that's what we're gonna be trying on today. The brand new quartet is what it's called. Very fancy. And then two new two new lip cheeks. The there is a third one in this collection. It's not available until March. So just an FYI, those are the products we'll be discussing today in this video. Would love for you to join me here on my channel. Join us. Love for you to just subscribe and like it and comment and tell me if you've tried these yet. I'd love to know. Let's get into a couple looks as well as my thoughts on this collection. All right, y'all. Let's use this eye quad by Shantikai. It is the brand new <gasps> giraffe eye quad. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful this is, y'all. It's Stunning. So the Giraffe Eye Quartet, I think that's what it says, Quartet. It is 0.5 grams of product, 0.07 ounces times four is what it says. And this is made in Italy. So I'm excited to try this for you guys today. This is the palette. Isn't it stunning? Let's swatch. <laughs> I haven't even put my fingers in it yet. So let's swatch the top left, which is this like almost like milk chocolate shade. There's that first shade. Let's go in this kind of white iridescent shade here. Ooh, it has a little reflect to it. Can you see? I'm gonna pull back a little bit from the camera. And then, this is a little different, right? It's a little, um, almost kind of berry-like. I don't know, it's got a little different, I haven't swatched it, so let's, oh, that's, that was fun. <laughs> We're not perfect over here, guys. That's an interesting shade, it's got some, um, it's got some pretty reflect to it. I'm just trying to put it, like blend it out a little bit. These are creamy. See? Alright, and then this one. I'm excited to try. <gasps> Woo! Look at that! Ooh, it's like a silver metallic -y shade. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, that might be my favorite. Ah, okay. So let's try it on. Let's try it on. Let's use a Blender Pro brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade here. And I'm going to bring you up a little bit. But I am going to just place this here. I do have the NARS primer down. Eye primer. I, I use that a lot. That, the Mario one. I really like those two eye primers. Yeah, this is nice. Very pretty. And do the other eye with that same shade. Okay. And then I'm going in with the kind of bottom shade here that's kind of got a little rust to it and I'm kind of going on the outer corner see I'm just I mean it's not perfect but I can get a little bit of depth to the eye there that's really cool I like the reflect it's kind of like a what color is that almost like a it's got a little bronze kind of that orangey bronze in it. Let's see. If we can, can you see that? Little fallout here, not a lot. Really nice, right? It's really pretty. Almost has a little purple undertone to it, kind of cool. 
Oh, I'm liking that. I'm so excited. This is so exciting. I love, okay, guys, y'all know I love Chantecaille. And I just adore the brand. I think they're really, um, they just make some beautiful products and they're nice products and things like that. Is everything that I try, like, for me, no. But I love the brand as a whole and I love their products. Um, so, let's see. I really like this number two refer brush. I was talking about this the other day gonna go into this color here I'm so excited this is like a great flat shader brush and the cool thing about this is it's like you can really lay down product so see how that just kind of lays it down without creating like a ton of fallout or anything like that that's beautiful wow Yeah, no fallout there. That one is a little bit more silvery, but it looks purple in the pan. This isn't the white one. This is that kind of purpley shade. This one here. I mean, it reflects silver, but you know what I mean? Like in the pan, if you're looking at it, it's the reflex real. In the pan, if you're looking at it, it looks a little silver. So, adding a little here. Wow, that's so cool. Now, there are four shades in here. Do you like a four pan palette or a five pan palette? What is your palette of choosing? If you were to have, I want to go in the kind of white here. Would you rather have four or would you rather have one more option in there? Sometimes I'd rather have one more option, like maybe one more matte in here, just to give it a little, you know, this, ass. this looks very, this is their spring palette, but it doesn't, it almost looks very kind of winter-esque to me. What do you think? Maybe I, I just did it very winter-esque. <laughs> oh, I love that. Shall we play with the two lip cheeks? Now, lip cheek formula is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. I love Patience. I love Amour. I love Honeysuckle, I believe, is one of them. I think. But this one is a new shade, Jasmine. So we're going to show you this shade here. This is Jasmine. I will swatch it on my hand. What I love about this formula is that it's just so hydrating, yet it provides pigment, but you don't need a mirror to put it on. It's like a really, really nice, beautiful lipstick. This is gonna be like my go-to spring shade, I think. Jasmine is so pretty. It's very neutral, very beautiful. It's very different for me. I'm usually that brownie girl, but it has enough of that like sheen to kind of give it this like uniqueness about it. So this, my friends, is Jasmine. It has the beautiful giraffe packaging. It's gorgeous now that's kind of more of a taupey um sheen to it whereas the other one that i'm gonna that i bought that i'm gonna show you today is this one this lavender ah oh, so beautiful this is freesia how apropos now this is freesia you can see here a little bit more looks a little bit more blue in undertone let's swatch so you have Freesia, and then you have Jasmine. Oops. So Freesia and Jasmine here. So let's try on the Freesia. Ooh, it's got a purple. 
po. It's like a lilac pink. Do you see this? Yes. I have nothing like this. All right, guys, so I thought we'd try another look. I am, this is actually the following day. I was, um, I got a little crazy yesterday. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try a different look, see what, how it applies. It wore really well yesterday, honestly. So I'm really excited to, I think we're going to try maybe, like, maybe more of this. The deeper shade, for sure. So... Let's go and pull it. I might do something a little different. What if I do something kind of dramatic? I'm kind of feeling it. We're going to play and see what happens. So now I'm going in with a Sonia G. This is a jumbo blender. And I am putting that all over the lid. So see how it kind of transforms into this copper purple shade? Really beautiful shade here. It's a little different, right? So we're going all over the lid here. Let's do a little bit, let's add a little bit more. So you can kind of see how that is. I'm gonna get crazy and take it underneath. All right, let me get a different brush, let's see. I'm going to blend this out just a little bit here. Soften the edge. This is fun. Okay, now I may just take the white. This white shade that we used yesterday. And I'm going to just tap. I like it both ways. I like it without the white and I like it with the white. Kind of makes it a little, I don't know. This is so different for me personally. Kind of cool though, right? <laughs> Oh, this is, I'm like, who am I right now? <laughs> All right, should I put on, I mean, do I need a liner? I feel like I kind of need a little liner. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and applied the eyeliner, the Surratt eyeliner. I think I like the look without the eyeliner better, quite frankly. I applied my Chanel mascara because it's my favorite <laughs> mascara. It's the Le Volume de Chanel mascara. So good. So, Let's talk about this giraffe palette, okay? 
I think it's beautiful. I think it's so pretty. It kind of goes in tandem with some of their other packaging. This is a plastic kind of um, raised packaging that they've had in prior collections, things like that. I really like it. I think it's beautiful. Problem with this type of packaging is that things stick to it. So like if you're putting another one similar to this on it, it will stick to it. So just an FYI. The other thing is, is that the pans themselves are very, very small. I love Sean Takai. I think their formulas are beautiful and I feel like I, I just love the brand. So for me, that is one of the things that I just wish they would, they would do bigger pan sizes, honestly. Um, the shades in here are beautiful. They apply and look gorgeous on, I mean, they look beautiful on. I love them. Um, I feel like this could have been a little bit more of a topper shade for me. That's just my opinion. Uh, it's very frosty, <laughs> very frosty. If it was more of a topper, I feel like that would be so beautiful because you see, you can really see the pigment here, which is great, but for spring and everything, I just feel like it would be like a really good topper. The other shades are just insanely gorgeous and really pretty. I love frosty shades, don't get me wrong, but this to me seems more of like a winter palette to me. I don't mind it. I do not at all but um, that's just kind of more of the vibe I get from it in a lot of ways. And like this, like with spring, I feel like it's just so like, like the lips feel very spring to me, like that, like pink and all that. Right? Um, but the palette itself does seem a little bit more mm, kind of winter. With everything, there are things you really love and things that you just wish you could see a little different, and that's kind of what I would see a little bit different for this. It is a 24 month shelf life, so just an FYI. So with the lip chics, I absolutely adore them. Oh my gosh, I absolutely adore the lip chics. I think my favorite may be this Freesia one. It's just so, I'm putting it over this one, but it has that slow lavender lilac undertone to it. Ugh, I love that. It's a little unique and different than what I usually have. And I love the like, I love the lilac kind of going with the color of the year, you know, that peri, the purple is kind of in for that. But I love the giraffes and I love the packaging of this. I think they're beautiful and it's just so, so pretty. Overall, I think the collection is really beautiful and I think it's really nice. I do want to try the other lip chic. It's not coming out until March though, I hear. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching today and being here and, and watching me try this on. I really appreciate it. I have so much fun. I invite you to subscribe. Hit, hit the button <laughs> and don't forget to Tap on the notification bells so that you are notified with the latest and greatest and when I upload and everything like that. I really appreciate you guys so much. <sighs> with that being said, I invite you to watch my next video or my last video right here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all.